so in today's lecture i will be doing problems on resolvent problem on resolvent kernel y of x is equal to f of x plus lambda integral from 0 to 1 e raised to power of x minus t y of t dt okay so i'll turn the page now the question can be like this solve the integral equation or find the resolvent kernel okay so okay let me f of x plus lambda okay 0 to 1 okay so errors i made okay so the question is y of x is equal to f of x plus lambda integral from 0 to 1 e raised to power of x minus t y of t dt and take this as equation 1 okay now what you all can do is so we need to find in this we need to find out we need to find out the resolvent kernel this okay this is the formula uh, sorry not this yeah this is the formula for to find the resolvent kernel and this we need to find finally we need to find this once you get the resolvent kernel using this then you have to substitute in this and get the answer of this y of x okay now let us start with the problem so here what is my kernel k of x comma t is equal to this is my kernel e raised to power of x minus t let k1 of x comma t is equal to what now you all know how now okay i'll tell you all how to find the exact exactly okay so let k1 of x comma t is equal to what k of x comma t okay and this is equal to what what is my kernel here k of x comma t is equal to e raised to power of x minus t okay now i need to find out what is my k2 of x comma t okay k2 of x comma t is equal to integral from 0 to 1 this is the formula again okay k of x comma u into k1 of u comma t du okay now this is equal to what integral from 0 to 1 what was my kernel k of x comma t was nothing but e raised to power of x minus t but here what is it x comma u so it will be e raised to power of x minus u into what is this e raised to power of u minus t and it is with respect to u right so here what will happen is this u and this u will get cancelled okay and what will you get what i'm going to get is this is equal to integral from 0 to 1 e raised to power of x minus t du okay next what i'll do is this is equal to i'll remove this from integral sign because it is with respect to u integral is with respect to u okay so i'll take this outside the integral and it is with this only so now this is equal to e raised to power of x minus t integral from 0 to 1 du now this is equal to e raised to power of x minus t now upper limit minus the lower limit if you all do what i'm going to get is 1 minus 0 so it is nothing but 1 right so that's what i have written it over here that 1 okay so finally what is this what I'm going to get is equal to e raised to power of x minus t. Now I will be finding k3 of x comma t is equal to 0 to 1 k of x comma u into k2 of u comma t du. When we were finding k2 of x comma t, when we were finding k2 of this x comma t, it was k1 into this, no, sorry, k of x comma u into k1 of u comma t du but here it is we are taking k2 of u comma t here right so now this is equal to what integral from 0 to 1 e raised to power of x minus u into e raised to power of u minus t du now k3 of x comma t is equal to 0 to 1 e raised to power of x minus t du u u get cancelled what remains e raised to power of x minus t du finally what we are going to get e raised to power of x minus t it's the same thing next i'll turn the page in general 
how i am going to write this as km of x comma t is equal to e raised to power of x minus t because for k1 i am getting the same thing right see here what is my k1 of x comma t is nothing but e raised to power of x minus t right what was my k2 of x comma t e raised to power of x minus t for k3 also i am getting the same thing so what is my km of x comma t is equal to e raised to power of x minus t okay therefore the resolvent kernel resolvent kernel is given by what now we have to use this formula and solve it okay resolvent kernel x comma t comma lambda is equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to infinity lambda raised to power of i minus 1 ki of x comma t now this is equal to what i is equal to 1 to infinity lambda raised to power 5 minus 1 what is my ki of x comma t is nothing but e raised to power of x minus t okay this yeah, you all can put your i okay this part yeah even m also will be okay okay so if you write ki of x comma t so this is what i found okay e raised to power of x minus t now this is equal to what take this outside the summation okay i'll take it the other side so e raised to power of x minus t summation of i is equal to 1 to infinity this lambda i minus 1 is what 1 upon 1 minus lambda it is so what i will get the resolvent kernel is equal to e raised to power of x minus t upon 1 minus lambda therefore the solution is given by y of x is equal to f of x plus lambda here that in that formula this formula resolvent kernel what what i got is e raised to power of x minus t upon 1 minus lambda so that's what i have written it over here y of t y of t dt y of t dt it is okay sorry it is f of t f of t no in the formula what is given f of t dt so let me change it it's not y it's f right so f of t dt so it is f of t dt so with this you all are done with today's problem then again i will be solving one more problem this is a problem integral equation i have solved okay and now i will be solving on uh, volterra integral equation okay this resolvent kernel so I hope you all have understood. If you all have not understood any of the concept, please comment below. And thanks for watching.